All right, we are back here with Carrie and Emily, and Emily and I just announced that we are new EBFFs. Um, we're gonna start hanging out all of the time because she's like one of the coolest humans I've ever met, along with Carrie, so go to the wine tasting on Thursday to spend time with these incredible women. Wine makes it better. It does make it better. You know, and I, I wanted to talk a little bit about art and wine. You know, obviously that was what J Street had in mind, was to bring the art of winemaking together with art and the expression of art. And art is a, an expression of the culture of our times. And so, you know, if you go back through history of wine, Mouton, uh, Rothschild, one of the most famous wines, Chateau Mouton, has commissioned famous artists throughout the years to be to put on their label. They feel it's very important. It's an expression of, you know, the nature of what we're doing here. But she draws her and inspiration from nature, wine comes from nature. It belongs together, and it is an art, both of them, the art of winemaking as well. And it also, you know, it's a, it, it showcases history and is a wonderful way to draw you into the wine. I mean, when you look at that label, it draws you in, you're enticed. Mm -hmm. So they really do belong together, and I love the fact that they're really showcasing that project. And Emily was talking a little bit about what that meant yeah. to her as well. I mean, every bit of the process that goes into winemaking is an art. The growing of the grapes, the picking of the grapes, and uh, mixing of the juices. Um, so I think when you put something on the bottle that kind of evokes that, you know, you get a better idea of, of what you're going to be drinking as opposed to it just being another bottle of wine, you know. So. so I just went to this lecture. This is kind of an off point, but I think it's very interesting. I just mm -hmm. went to this lecture, and they were talking about how art can put you in the same state of mind as meditation. Yes. By yes, just appreciating absolutely. the art. Absolutely. You put a glass of wine with that, <laughs> you're like in heaven. That we're is good. spa day to me. <laughs> right? Yeah. I'm, I'm in heaven. Absolutely. Okay, That's why I do so, it. <laughs> right. Wine and art keeps you calm, you know. Yeah, it puts you in that true. state of mind. That, That's like, very true, that, too. And we can all use a little calmness and meditation in these days. And yeah. certainly glasses of wine help. Yes, quite 100%. a bit. So yeah, I'm I'm very excited to see on Thursday how these have progressed um, because that she's yeah. bringing them on Thursday them. to the store, so you can see what mm. she did today, and then you'll be able to see Thursday she's going to be working on them again as we sip on wine. How sophisticated is that? I'm going to be there. Right, <laughs> it's four to six and fifteen percent off what we're tasting here from J Street, mm, yeah. and we'll be having a great time watching Emily. It's going to be really fun. Please come join us. It should be really a My great gosh, time. I am so excited. Okay, Emily, I have to ask, mm -hmm. what created you or what inspired you to do The Woman with the Spider in Her Mouth? Because I personally have arachnophobia. Fair enough. I kind of <laughs> do too. That helped actually confronting uh -huh. that. But um, actually, I mean, we were talking a little bit earlier about how I love painting women and Mother Nature, uh, things that kind of haven't always been given a voice. Um, and I think one of my college teachers told me once, like, all you do is, is paint pretty women all the time, pretty pictures. Um, can't you do something else? And I was like, I'll show you. And I mean, that piece too is like four feet tall by two oh, and a half wow. feet or something. So it's pretty imposing in real life. Wow. Um, and I think, I think she was pretty satisfied with that, at least. I got her off my back about <laughs> only drawing pretty women and pretty animals. So, you know, and spiders are actually a really, f they, you know, from like Native American cultures mm -hmm. and stuff, a really feminine energy of creativity. Actually, there's some cultures that believe the spider is responsible for language, Absolutely. writing it in its web and stuff like that. So. Which is, I mean, I just learned something new. Yes. You as a human being totally <laughs> entice me. I'm like What's all up? about it. That's I want right. to learn everything about you, everything about the wine, everything about the art. I got plenty of tidbits like that, honey. <laughs> oh my gosh. So, like, I'm going to be, we're going to become best friends. And then I'm going to leave this friendship, never leave the friendship, but always be involved in the friendship and expanding my mind in ways about art. You know what? We're both yeah. going to grow. It's going to be good. <laughs> it is going it to be about good. This. That's what's so fun about this. And I've, I've seen some labels that are going to be coming out on some beautiful yeah. wines soon. And there, I mean, this is just a project that's going to keep growing. It so is. it's really going to be fun. We can say we were there in the beginning. We oh can say you know, we what were here we from the start. Emily when. You can say <laughs> you were there from the start. All of the viewers <laughs> at home, you were here at the start as well. That's right. Thank you, ladies, Thank so you much for meeting nice. us. Fun. Make sure that you stop by Avon Liquors on Thursday from 4 to 6. Meet these lovely ladies, watch the art happen in front of your eyes, and also enjoy some fabulous wine. Coming up next, we're going to take a look at what tomorrow's show has in store for you.